Cosmos, welcome back to another episode of Hang Easy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to live stream to Twitch using Xbox One, no capture card needed. Um, so for this tutorial, it's going to be very straightforward, very to the point. I'm not going to hit you with some long introduction. Um, let's hop right into it. So the first step to do this is to simply um, go on Twitch's website on your computer, create an account, um, sign up, email, password, do all that. Once you got your account all verified and stuff, it's complete. You want to make your way over to your Xbox One. Go to My Games and Apps. Click that. I'm going to show you all your apps here. And you're going to want to go to the Twitch app. If you don't have this installed, just go to the um, App Store on Xbox and download it. It's that simple. Click on that. Bring it to Twitch. So then it shows you all the people live streaming on Twitch and stuff. And it'll show you your profile. and it's really nice, honestly. Um, so if I can just go over here, go click broadcast. So I'm just going to dismiss this since it won't actually let me do it. Because um, I'm streaming to my laptop to record this, so it's not going to let me do this. But I'm just going to dismiss this. Try this again. Broadcast. No, not search broadcast. Okay, so this is going to be annoying and not... Let me do this. Um, so yeah, so here is just the overall interface. Um, here, this is your title, like made easy title, whatever you want. Just make sure you don't make a spelling mistake cause, like I did here. Um, so your game will appear here. That'll basically notify you or just let the audience know what game you're playing. Um, this interface is new, by the way, guys, just to let you know. So here you can adjust um, your microphone and stuff. Sadly, this thing is in the way, and it's really annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to work around it. Uh, here you got party chat, game, bitrate. Bitrate um, determines like how well your stream will appear a uh, higher bitrate it'll be more visually pleasing lower bitrate won't be as good um, it all depends on depends on your internet connection and stuff uh, if you have a weak internet connection make sure you want to lower your bitrate uh, for me I have a pretty good internet connection so um, you can turn it to automatic so that'll give you the best one possible you can up it usually 2500 is good for me and I usually have like a 40 up down so that's any reference to you guys um, game volume, party volume, microphone, you can select the microphone on and off and stuff. You can mute party chat, you can mute game chat, stuff like that. So it gives you a lot of customization, which I like. Then stream resolution, you can do, depending on what your monitor is, you can do 360, 480, 720, or 1080. I'm going to do 1080. Language, it's pretty self-explanatory. Pick your language, what you want it to be, what you speak. Um, and then you simply go down here, you click start streaming. Obviously, I can't do that online because I'm streaming to my laptop and it won't let me and it gives me this annoying error message but that's all good and stuff um so you just click start streaming your stream will appear on twitch uh, you simply just go into your game it'll be streaming all that everything works out fine um yeah your stream will show up on twitch um it'll notify anyone who's a follower of yours and if you're looking to grow your twitch channel in xbox one you can do this this also works on ps4 if you're wondering um, this is a great way for you guys to uh, start up your Twitch, try to grow, maybe make an income out of this, stuff like that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, do all that kind of stuff. Uh, thank you all for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.